Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a 1977 Plymouth Fury Detroit police car in 124 scale by Greenlight Collectibles. As we can see from the box, this is from the movie Beverly Hills Cop. Um, and if you've seen the movie, um, you probably remember that it is from the big chase scene at the beginning of the movie with um, all the police cars and the semi truck with the cigarettes on it. Um, we can see the palm trees in the backdrop of the car for Beverly Hills. Greenlight does a good job of making their boxes look attractive with just the palm trees and the sunset and everything. Um, on the back of the box, there's an image of the car. More Beverly Hills cop badging on the side of the box. On the underside um, is the Chrysler official license product as well as other licensing and badging. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and get the car out of the box. You can definitely tell that this car was uh, from the 70s. The inside and outside of the vehicle are all the exact same color blue. Uh, anyways, let's so make our way on the front. Got the Plymouth badging along the top of the grill there. See that? Got the turn signal indicator lamps. Um, that are painted onto the front bumper. Um, and this indicator here is molded into the fender, um, so it's a raised bump with uh, with painted on. Uh, we got the American flag, steel dog dish wheels there, the chrome center caps. Detroit police badging on the side. A squad car number up there. And here we'll take a look inside. Uh, one thing I do like is the cars are realistic opening hinges um, versus the dog leg. Green light is definitely coming a long way with that. Um, then actually, I actually kind of like this interior, although it was pretty plastic. I just like the robin's egg blue combined with like the wood panel trim like on the underside of the instrument cluster there, as well as on the dash over there, the steer wheel. Um, you can also see a little bit of that on the door panels. You got the bucket seats in the front with the armrest. Got the caging in the rear um, for when they have criminals in the back. Uh, now the rear doors do not open, um, and there's a little bit of distortion in the rear glass here. Make our way around the rear of the car. Um, another raised and painted um, indicator on the side of the vehicle there. Rear of the vehicle, we got the tail lights, um, the Michigan plate there. Chrome bumper with the bumperettes on either side. The uh, passenger side of the vehicle is identical to the driver's side, um, just missing the mirror, um, but that's intentional. Um, a lot of cars back in the day only came with the one side view mirror, um, not the one on the passenger side. Take a look inside over here. Again, the realistic opening hinges. Uh, the only other green light vehicle that I have with those is the Starsky and Hutch Grand Torino. Uh, you can see the radio equipment down there on the transmission hump. Again, although this interior is pretty you know, blocky and plasticky, I do enjoy the Robin's Egg Blue with the wood panel trim look to it. Got the rear view mirror attached to the window there. Again, another view into the back. And the plastic is a bit distorted so you can't see too clearly through it. Um, you have the big bucket light on the top here. Very classic um, for Michigan police cars. There's the State troopers still have these bucket lights at the top of their police cars. 
Um, now then, this model does not have an opening hood or trunk. The only opening items are the passenger and driver's side door, um, which are fit very snugly on the back here. And actually, not too obnoxious, I'm guessing. It's pretty, a little bit big, but not too bad. Um, this side definitely is better. Um, more uniform throughout so definitely good gapping on the doors and everything everything fits snugly uh, the doors open and close nicely and again bonus points for realistic hinges thank you green light uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the underside of the car um, very basic underside um, just <laughs> basic blob shape so you got your, your exhaust going back but that's about it <laughs> There's very little detail on the underside, but that is a Greenlight 124th model for you. Um, you can see here that it is produ uh, production number three. I don't know how many were made, but it's very cool to see a low number one. You can see the 1977 Plymouth Fury up there. And Greenlight made in China. Overall, by Greenlight standards, um, this police car is a uh, one of the better ones that I have, just with the panel gaps fitting nicely um, and the wheels uh, not having too much side-to-side -side slop on them um, with their axles being too long or other various reasons. Um, and the glass having a little bit of distortion to it, but not too bad. Um, overall, I'm actually pretty happy and uh, look forward to photographing this one in some you know, downtown urban areas uh, for my Instagram page. Definitely enjoy having it in my collection. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video overview, please give it a like and subscribe for more of my content. Thanks. Mm -hmm.